starring Cloris Leachman, John Shepard, George Chandler, and John Provost as Timmy. And, of course, Lassie. special permits to kill them off. Where are you taking that one, Mr. Teal? County Poor Farm. Gonna make money nice eating. You remember what I said now about staying out of the woods, huh? And you tell your daddy I got a nice fat dough. Huh? Why do they have to shoot the deer? Why can't they feed them if they're hungry? What's she growling at? I don't know. What is it, Lassie? Let's go see what she's after. No! I told you, we're not allowed. You can go, but not me. What are you, scared? Scared of what? Whatever Lassie's barking at. I am not. You are so. That's why they won't go see. I'd go see in a minute, except, except you're scared. I'll show you how scared I am. Lassie 
will scare them away. I told you. Let's get out of here. We can leave the stuff. He's still there. Let's leave this stuff here. from town. Uh, no. I think they're up in the North Meadow. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes, Jim, I'll tell them. How's Cora? Fine. Bye, Jim. He and Scott were playing in the barn. I know. I went into town to pick up a few things, and when I got back and started preparing supper, the icebox was raided. <laughs> Boys will get hungry. Hungry enough to drink half a gallon of milk, eat a head of lettuce, a bunch of carrots, and all the oranges in the house? It's a strange combination. Heaven knows what else is missing. I haven't even looked. Oh, Jim Peel called. He said to tell you we got a doe in the woods in back of our orchard. And your special hunting permits are ready in the town clerk's office. Good. We'll pick them up first thing in the morning. As a matter of fact, we might run down and pick them up now. I'll call Jim. Maybe we could do some shooting tonight. Okie dokie. Before either of you does anything, I want you to find Timmy and get some explanation for what's been going on right here. Now, would you stop worrying about a handful of groceries? Unless we get rid of the deer, we're going to lose a lot more carrots and lettuce than Timmy took. He can't kill the deer. They won't eat out of the truck garden anymore, because we've been feeding them. So that's where my food went. We saw a little baby deer in the woods. Jim Teal killed its mother. And it didn't have anything to eat or drink. Now, Timmy, the, the woods are full of deer, son. Now, if you feed them, they'll just hang around expecting more. And before you know it, we'll be overrun with them. Do you have to kill them? Scott, I think it's time you started on home. And Timmy supper won't be ready for 20 minutes yet, so why don't you walk Scott down the road away? No, Kitty. But first... We'll talk about it later. If you kill the deer, I won't like you anymore. Why, Timmy? I did. I didn't really mean it. I know, Skipper. Better run along now. He meant it. Oh, Paul, you know better than that. Had a lot of gumption, that young un. I sent Timmy with Scott because I thought you might think of some other way to get rid of the deer. Hmm. What about poison? Why ruin the meat? At least if they're shot, the meat can go to the county poor farm. Somebody will get some use from it. No, Timmy's a country boy. He's got to learn about self-preservation. When an animal becomes a predator, when it destroys crops, it has to be destroyed in turn. There's no room for sentimentality. There is when you're seven. You see a baby deer alone in the woods, and you think its mother has just been killed. But if we feed them, they won't be hungry. They won't eat up all the crops. But your father says they'll hang them out if we feed them. What if they do? If they don't hurt anything, who cares? What about tonight? We heard your father say they were going to shoot some. I bet that baby will be the first one. I won't let them. How are you going to stop them? I don't know. But there must be a way. Scott, do you think your mother would let you stay at my house overnight? 
I could ask her. Come on, I'll go with you. So you see, boys, the deer came down out of the hills because they were hungry. That big forest farm we had back in May must have wiped out their feeding ground, so uh, they're getting into our crops and our orchards. Now, we raise corn and apples to help feed people. The question is, who would you rather feed? People or deer? Both! Well, unfortunately, we haven't enough for both. So we have to get rid of the deer. You don't have to kill them. Finish your pie, Timmy. I don't want any more. Are you through? Then we'd be excused. More glasses. They don't like it. Whether they like it or not, it has to be done. I'll check the rifles while you finish. You know, I just thought of something. Ain't no reason why the Forestry Service or the Fish and Game people couldn't round up all them deer and ship them off to some game preserve. Worth a call, anyway. Paul wants them to behave like children and think like adults. This can't be done. Jenny, Petrie Martin. Fit as a fiddle and ready for sparking. <laughs> Why, with you, of course. <laughs> oh, now, how you talk. Why, you ain't no more than a spring chicken. <laughs> sure enough. Look, Jenny. You happen to know where the nearest Forestry Service office is located? Question, huh? Well, that's not too far. Well, how about being a sweet gal and ringing them up for me, huh? Well, I sure would appreciate that, Lamby Pie. Why do you tease Jenny? Ain't nothing a spinster lady likes better than tease and sweet talk. <laughs> What's your father doing? Cleaning a gun. We better get out there and scare the deer away, or else they'll get shot. How do we sneak out with my father standing there? What about the front door? Maybe. Might get some action. The forestry warden's around here someplace. Jenny's gonna try locating them. Oh, good. I'll go tell Paul. Hi, Lassie. Where are the boys? Hi, Jim. Hi. I'll be right with you. You got a light? Sure have. Good. How are you, Ruth? Hello, Jim. You'll excuse me. Supper dishes. Sure thing. Oh, I wish you'd wait until... We won't be long, honey. How about Petrie? No, oh, he's not coming. gone? Jenny found the warden. He was at Bert Silsby's, just down the road a piece. He's on his way up here. Said he was sure something could be done about it. That nephew of yours. I tried to make him wait, but no. Oh, stubborn as a mule. Chances are they won't see nothing anyway. Woods are tender dry, and the yard ain't easy to sneak up on, even at night. I want to tell Timmy and Scott the warden's coming. They'll be so glad. Timmy! Timmy! What's 
the matter? The ponies, they're not in their room. the creek. Okay? Okay. But how can I see in the dark? You don't have to see. Now go ahead. Now Lassie, you go that way and chase the deer. But don't bark. You understand? <coughs> go ahead. You find him? No. Now, don't get yourself all riled up. It couldn't have gone far. Timmy! You don't think they could have gone to the woods? Timmy was so upset about the deer, he might have had some wild idea he could stop Paul. No, take lightly. Now, you go on back inside, and I'll take the pickup and drive on down there. Good evening. I'm Warden Hammer of the Forestry Service. Howdy. I'm the one to talk to you on the phone. This here's my niece, Mrs. Martin. Howdy, How do you do? Mr. Hammer, we're worried about my son and his playmate. We think they might have gone into the woods to try to stop my husband from shooting the deer. He and a neighbor took off before I reached you. We'd better get down there. Let's take my car. You best stay behind. No, I'm going with you. Bring it slowly back this way, Jim. Please get out of here. I can't bring you any more to eat. And unless you get out of here, you'll get killed. There's one behind that brush. Close call. Thanks, Lassie. Well, we're lucky everything turned out all right. Yeah. We'll start rounding them up the first thing in the morning. Won't take long. What about the little fawn? We'll take her. There are plenty of does on the game preserve. She'll be adopted. Too bad we can't keep you. 
That all you got to suggest to your ma and pa? You know, you two scallywags ain't out of the woods quite yet. But well, we saved a little deer, didn't we? It took 10 years off your ma's life and come close to making your pa out of murder. You'll both be lucky if you get off with a tongue lashing. And speaking of saving, how about that certain party that saved your hide? Thanks, Lassie. <laughs> 